Hey everybody, we're back in the world of Deponia. We're now into chapter two. Uh, we're at Portofisco, and that's it. We've just made landfall here, so now it's time to figure out what to do next. So it looks like we've got some interesting folks there. We've got goal. There's a power inverter, so we're going to just pick that up. I'm going to talk to goal. Hey, goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. <laughs> okay. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't you. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's what I would have said in your place. Yeah, to distract suspicion away from you. Why should I? I smell fantastic. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <clears throat> It's yeah, that yeah, guy it's, back it's there. that bum Subject over there, closed. no doubt. <laughs> uh, I wonder who lives in that tent up there. Probably another poor lunatic. Yeah, lots of those around here. Roughly three per trawler. Oh, jeez. Okay. No sign of Donna Gole. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey, I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massing for a surprise attack. In the end, all our plans will be foiled, and nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. This is and probably it accurate. Works like that? Yeah, Every time. Cool. I was gonna say, yeah, this is probably on accurate. we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Totally. Uh, I want to see what's up with this smelly guy. Actually, I want to see what's in here first. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent. My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You <laughs> are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, so strictly speaking, late? makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Can I steal the bananas now, then? Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes. But I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> you foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune telling? B b no. I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. No, I'm confused. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. Oh my god, so many options. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. Hmm. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. <laughs> Why not? Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus. What except the hell kind of psychic are you? Of course. I will be very busy next month. So I get a little ahead of myself. Why do you live in a tent? My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. Oh, well, really? Wait, this is a pretty big place. What sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. No, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline <laughs> for satin nav's chainsaw. Ooh, 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 
<laughs> hey, <laughs> don't hell? change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? <laughs> oh, darn it. Wow, okay. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless. Yes, I me. will. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Okay. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Uh, just Go gonna on. Take, the damn bananas. take them. Help yourself. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. Join the dark side. Oh my god. Okay, is there anything else in here? Uh, forget you, creepy dude. Alright, well now we have bananas. Let's go talk to this guy. To bet that's gonna say sewers. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? Why? Isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother, what's <laughs> up in the hood? <laughs> please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah, now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it, but not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. See, I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objections. I insist. Oh my god, look at all these options. You look, you look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so, what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. Mm. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I said wrong. No, bums eat shoes. What? Shoes. Everyone knows that. <laughs> God, amateur. Bums eat shoes? Uh, I bet I get to give him the banana. Are you still hungry? Yes. Do you have anything for me to eat? <laughs> now, that's the way I like it. Begging is very authentic. But I'm really, really hungry. No, no, no. Don't overdo it. First, internalize this lesson. Okay, I'll explain how to eat a shoe later. Oh, my God. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchid delias are. So keep it cool, okay? Okay. Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the quay can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. Oh, no. It, just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? Oh, no. There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. jeez. Oh, um... We could practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, um, a chew. Oom, um, a chew. And now, you. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, um, a chew. 
<laughs> Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove. Yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied. He's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. <laughs> Who's got oh, style? Oh. Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. <laughs> Hey, 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 what? What? Huh? <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. Oh, man. Okay, you didn't happen to see Submersible go by here. I just got an achievement for Freestyler. Nice. Uh, you didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, wait a minute! You don't have a winter home! That was sarcasm! <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums, don't use sarcasm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? Oh god. Uh... Do you know where I can find the rebels' secret hideout? Huh? Sure. The entrance is right here in the sewers. No, no, I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. Okay. Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows, maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Porta Fisco. Then all of Porta Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, it's, it's uh, boring, I think. Huh. I can't say I found this story all that boring. Okay. How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. All right, let's change the subject. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. Uh, Porta Fisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Yikes. Can I borrow your can umbrella? Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Yes. Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You... you would really do that for me? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. Okay. Can I have the umbrella now? Did did you bring me something to eat? I'm yes. almost dead of hunger. No, that's good. Yeah, I can almost buy it. A, a little more trembling and less wailing and you'll have nailed it. Okay. Smell you later and remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and uh okay, wait wait wait. wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. <laughs> All right, can I give him the bananas? You look hungry. I am. You don't happen to have anything edible on you? Uh, nothing suitable. No. But I, I don't care what it is. I could eat anything. No, no, no. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? Oh, jeez. You can't eat you still just can't anything. Give him anything. Bums eat, eat shoes. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I can't give him that anyway. So into the sewers. Maybe we'll deal with him again later. The button. Must push button. Hmm. What a waste. That could have been turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high speed cheese grater. Open the hatch. How much you want to bet this goes in here? It fits. Hmm. Well, nah, we'll leave that for now. Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Ah, crap.
Um, Wrong, but wrong. Blast okay. it. Okay. Um, I thought I heard him knock. Okay, he just knocked three times. Um, I don't know, how many can I do total? Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, huh. is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. So it's a plus minus, plus minus kind of thing. So that's good. All right, that wasn't too bad. Rufus, pleased to see you. Oh, God. How long do we have to listen to this clown? Yeah, oh, the baby dolphins. Wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have smoothly. underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Wow. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have won more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely! Although that is counting the three trained dolphins, Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? <laughs> they are torpedo dolphins. Ah! I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Now there is no number 27. <laughs> okay. Yoink. So cute. Hey, you. Should Uncle Rufus teach you a couple of tricks? Hmm? Oh, oh they're so happy. And they're all like, no. Sweet. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. Well... My Dolphinese is so accent-free, it leaves them speechless. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this psycho. Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. Wow, okay. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Goal. And where is Goal? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least 
two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. <laughs> uh... How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me, huh? Well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuers syndrome. Call it what you want. <laughs> I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. Great to have you here. Beat it! Wow. Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. Wow. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. <laughs> you won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. Hey, how did you know that? Because that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say, But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. Okay. The dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Janosch. Oh, Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, Number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! Oh, aye, aye, boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. <laughs> wow. Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Janosch. Recruit! <laughs> You're out of your minds! I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, Recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. That's so funny. Drop and give me 20. Drop and give me 20, Recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you were killed by an ugly dragon, utterly overpowered by the sheer evilness of the hideous creature. Our dear hero perished and was no more. <laughs> uh. And do you enjoy working under my wise leadership? That ah. is priceless. <laughs> oh. I have a couple of questions about I the dolphins. Keep going with uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But Oh wow. Um Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? What what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away from the pool. <laughs> yes, all right, all right. Uh. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen. Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? Okay, if well, any, we already I'm heard serious, that I will. Uh, that wasn't the... Okay. Why do the dolphins look so sad? 
They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Jeez. How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. Okay. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. Tch, that's a relief. Janos <laughs> sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. <laughs> How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently that qualified me. <laughs> Ouch. I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. No way! Aw, oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. <sighs> all right. But right now, you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me! I'm Tony! My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I think we should change the- All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. Uh, okay, we have talked to I her have to go. about everything possible. <laughs> What? No cynical final remarks? I thought I'd try something else. I hoped maybe it would make you disappear faster. Heh, <laughs> didn't work, did it? Nope. <laughs> wow. That is so great. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Another new face. Are you one of Janosch's little friends? Hey, yes. listen, I'm the leader of a rebellion against the Organon. Of course you are. Would our brave leader like an orange juice? Yes, I would. Maybe later. You wouldn't happen to have any cat food. I'm sorry, my boy, no. I wanted to make some earlier, but the nice young lady pointed out to me that the baby dolphins aren't part of the supplies. What nice young lady? <laughs> Okay, so the only thing I can think of at this point is, um, I don't know what else, actually, let's, oh, it's in the drain. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, that's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Oh. They didn't walk in it. Huh. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. Okay. Well, get me out of here. Oh, there's a lock here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do at the moment. Salana y young ayeses! What was that? What do you think? I speak Dolphinese. Save your breath. They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe okay. I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They right. love physical comedy. Huh. Alright, that's for a later time, I guess. Okay, so is that. So what's going on outside? Is there anything else we can see, get, or do out here? Otherwise, there were other places on the map to explore. That would probably be a good idea, too. Ah, there's Organon guy. Ooh, mountain tires. These tires are worn out and boring. But if they were burning... Oh, that's bad weather. Okay, that's... Somewhere back there, the last high boat to Elysium is at anchor. Okay. So we can't do anything there. So I believe our only option then is to head back out to... Oh, 
bet I can take that burning barrel, but I have nothing to carry it with. They mentioned something about radio tower. So, my thoughts are... All ship shape, mate? Actually, the correct address would be Captain. Yeah, we can talk about your promotion later. First, I've got a couple of questions. Not really. Uh... Back to work, sailor! Hey, I'm still the cap. Say what? Mutiny. No screw. J you just stay focused, sailor. Just because there's a woman on board, we must not allow our thoughts to wander. <laughs> I like Gold's face. Alright. How do we travel again? Okay. That's where we were. That's Floating Black Markets. Oh god, these can be dragged? Oh no. Well, let's see what this one is. Lousy weather. We should make sure we finish up here as quickly as possible. The crust on my overcoat is starting to dissolve. Where are we? I don't even know where we are. Well, all right, guys. Uh, like usual, I try and keep the videos down to a, a reasonable length. So I'm going to call this one here. Uh, we'll continue on on the next one. Thanks for watching.